Okay, so this is going to be a quick run through on how to make a Microsoft form for a sign up list. More importantly, how to make a Microsoft form that captures data in real time that you can monitor in real time from the Excel spreadsheet. Now, the difference between this and a normal Microsoft form is that when you create a form, in order to collect responses, you have to download the file to Excel and then open it up. By creating a form in the way I'm about to show you, you are able to monitor real-time information coming into that form so that you can make adaptations or indeed you don't have to have multiple files downloaded at different time points. You can see it all coming in. So let's show you how that works. So the easiest thing is if you open up your OneDrive and if you go to wherever it is that you want the thing to sit, so for example, let's just go to the main folder I've got here, you click on New and Excel workbook. You can navigate to wherever it is that you want the file to appear uh, or be stored. Now it's important to do this in the browser version. This won't work if you open Excel in desktop version because you need the integration of Excel with forms and that's something really only fully possible with full functionality uh, in the Office 365 Cloud Package. So what you wanna be doing here is doing everything within your browser don't try and do some bits in the desktop applications and some bits in the browser. So once you're in Excel, you uh, leave it blank and you'll go to insert and over here on forms and choose forms and a new form. This will then open up Microsoft Forms itself and it's called whatever the Excel file was called. You can then add your multiple choice question, which will be, uh, and you can give the dates here so you can say, put them in that way and so on and add as many options as you like make it required and if we go back to the form and here we can see this has already created the boxes for the information that it will automatically capture once you've saved everything which it's automatically doing then it will collect that data as you go in okay and we can see Toggle back to the form, we can do preview, we can see what the form will look like. Okay, so they would toggle and submit, and we can see that there is a response, and I chose the 11th of March. If we now jump back here, and it has automatically added in all of that information. I didn't need to, I didn't need to download any files, I didn't need to get data from particular time points, it will add the stuff in real time. Now the final thing to show you is obviously you want to monitor sign up lists because you're providing a series of options with fixed numbers. Unfortunately, um, Microsoft Forms doesn't really have a way of um, limiting the number of responses to any one particular question. Uh, there is a way of doing this in Qualtrics, but it's far more complicated. And for the simple purpose we need here, we can just do a minor workaround. So you're going to need to keep tabs a little bit, checking in on the live Excel spreadsheet uh, once you've launched your form. Hopefully you'll find that it um, fills up quite quickly. But what you don't want to be doing is having to monitor it in your off hours. And so what we can do here is change the ability of it to be used at all. And there you're going to uh, inform whoever it is that's going to fill in your form at the time you launch it. Uh, this will only be available between these hours each day and during each working day. And here's what you do to go about changing that setting. So if we go back to the form and we click on the, the ellipsis here and settings and down here options responses, accept responses. All you've got to do is uncheck that box whenever it is you want to do. Now you can add something here saying uh, this form is only available to be completed during 9 to 5 Monday to Friday. And so therefore when students try to do this that's the message that they will get. The link will still be live, it will still be active, but it's a reminder to them that they won't be able to fill it in until normal office hours and that should limit things a little bit. Hope you found that useful.